Hello everyone. I'm just waiting for the safari kids to come in. I've got a bit of a surprise for them. But I'm not gonna give it away just yet. Let's just say that it's the type of surprise that makes people go, oh, cute, I want one. <laughs> all of you. Chef Jeff, my mom sent these eggs for you. Oh, thank you, Yolanda, and please thank your mom. Her hen's eggs are the best eggs around here. Hmm? Mm. What's in the box, Chef Shh, Jeff? Shh, you'll wake them. Wake them? Yeah. What are they? Well, come and see. Oh. <laughs> They're beautiful. What are they? Well, you know Trakatani's dog, Tandy? Well, she had these pups a few weeks ago. How old are they? I think they're just over three weeks old. Three weeks? Mm. And they're already so far from their mother. Y yes, but I'm just looking after them while Trakatani who takes Tani to the vet. Pups this big still need their mummies around. How many are they? Yeah, well, let's count this. Six, seven, seven of them. It's amazing that dogs have seven puppies. You don't hear about humans having so many babies at once. Well, they do, but it's very, very unusual. The lady that's living next door to us is having twins. Like me and a fence. Don't remind me. Uh, oh. Yes. Humans can have more than one baby at a time. And because you and Olivia aren't identical, that means you were two eggs, and not just one egg that was split. What is Chef Jeff talking about? Olivia and Ufenza were eggs, like the ones Yolanda brought for him. I don't understand. Humans don't lay eggs, do they? What, what? I hope Chef Jeff explains. Yeah. See, your mom had two eggs that were fertilized. So two babies grew. You. I'm not sure I understand. OK, well, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at this. Uh... I'm going to make a cake later so I can use this egg then. Okay, do any of you know where this egg came from? From Yolanda's farm. <laughs> yes, but where do they actually come from? From a hen. Yes, the hen's babies are inside eggs like these and they lay them so that they're outside the hen's body and then they sit on them to hatch them. Oh no, Chef Jeff. Are you telling us that the yellow part of the egg is actually a chick waiting to be born? No, the egg isn't fertilised. Um, you see, the male rooster has to fertilise the egg with his sperm before the hen lays it. And if he does that, then what's inside grows into a little chick. Is that what they call an embryo? Yes, quite right, Tabo. And if the egg is fertilised, then what's inside is called an embryo, a little unborn baby chick. So what is this yellow bit? Well, that's the food the baby chick will live on. It's what we call the yolk. And then the white of the egg, this transparent stuff that goes white when we cook it, that's just there to keep the embryo safe inside the egg. It also gives the embryo water. So this definitely isn't a baby chick? No, this is unfertilized. The hen has to mate with the male, a rooster, for it to be fertilized. And sometimes the hens are kept apart from the male roosters so that all they lay is unfertilized eggs, which we eat. But you know those puppies? Do they come out of their mother like these eggs? And does she sit on the egg to wait for them to hatch? <laughs> no, dogs are like humans. The egg is inside the mom's body and the baby grows there until the puppy is ready to be born. So is it only hens that wait for their eggs to hatch? No, actually all birds do and some other animals do too. Can you think of any? Snakes? Yes, most snakes are born as eggs and then the baby snakes hatch out of them. Oh, I know. Frogs! Remember Tarbo showed us his frog project and he told us that tadpoles come out of eggs? Yes! And do you know what lays the biggest egg? The dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but they're no longer with us. They're extinct. Is it the ostrich? Yes, that's right, Tarbo. You see that all those shells I've got over there and you see that big egg? Can you pass it to me? Wow! Yeah, that's big. Egg. big. Chef Chef, when an ostrich lays her egg, how long is it till the baby hatches? 
Well, in the case of an ostrich, it takes almost two months, but a chicken only takes a month. Do you know how long it took you to grow inside your mom? I think it was eight months. Oh yeah, it's probably because you're twins. But normally humans are pregnant for nine months. Why is it so long? To make sure the baby is completely grown. It's lungs and heart and arms and legs before it's born. The length of time that it takes for the baby to grow before it is born is called the gestation period. Mm. Do you know how long an elephant mother has to wait for her baby to be born? Yeah? Longer than that. It takes almost two years. And then the elephant, just like humans, the elephant mother looks after the baby elephant until it can survive on its own. But surely all mothers look after their babies. No, not all, but a lot do. Have a look at this. Insects are not known to take an interest in their babies, but baby bees are well protected in the hive until they are old enough to start working, gathering nectar. Baby fish have to stay away from grown-ups if they don't want to be mistaken for a tasty morsel of food. Female tortoises dig holes in the sand in which they lay eggs. They cover the eggs up and then simply forget about them. The masked weaver bird, on the other hand, takes great trouble to weave a nest out of leaves. A newborn baby giraffe can run around after a couple of hours. The giraffe mother keeps her young one very close to guard against hyenas and lions. She will very effectively protect her young by kicking at the lions or hyenas. Human babies are helpless at birth and take a very long time to grow up. Humans have to look after their babies much longer than any of the other animals. Marin. Yeah, well, Marin. We are twins, right? Yes. That means we are the same age, right? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Why? No, 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 it's okay. I just wanted to check on something. On what? Well, you know I saw Aunt Mooney yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, she said I must give her love to my older brother. Right, right. Hey, she's just getting old and she doesn't realize we are twins, right? Uh-uh, no, she's right. I'm older than you. You? Older than me? No, but that can't be. <laughs> we were born at the same time. Not quite at the same time. Yeah, I was born just before you. And how do you know that? Because Ma told me. Oh, so you are older than me? Yes. So that's why you're always telling me what to do? No, I am telling you what to do because I just like being mean. Now go bring me a cold drink. Okay. <laughs> The human babies are helpless? Wow. Yes, and puppies, like these over here, are a bit more independent, but they still need to be looked after. I've asked my mom if I can get puppies, and she said no, because I won't look after them. <laughs> yes, well, they do need to be looked after. They need to be played with and fed and taken to the vet when they're sick. And of course, they won't be puppies forever. They grow into dogs, and people stop being interested in them because they're not cute little puppies anymore. Not me. I've got two dogs, and I play with them all the time. <laughs> oh, the puppies are crying. Yes, you see, they need to be fed. Tracker Tani should be back very soon. James, she's been working so hard and looking after the puppies that I thought I would make a cake for her. Who wants to help me, huh? Me! me.
Olivia and Ufense were eggs, but they grew inside their mother's body and she didn't have to sit on them like a hen. Oh, I was also once an egg and now look at me, I've grown. <laughs> what, what? Mm. Where's my doggies? Can you find out about other animals and how they look after their babies? It's very interesting, isn't it? Bye for now. Bye! Bye. Who's come, my little puppy? It takes two to make a puppy.